Hey guys, Roby here with the Divi Engine team. Welcome to the Divi Form Builder documentation. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the various email options you'll find in the Divi Form Builder. So let's get right to it. Okay guys, so here we are in the back end of a page that I created earlier along with the form I created with the Divi Form Builder plugin. I'm just going to go into visual mode because I always am so impressed by the ability of this plugin to be Visual Builder compatible. Now I'm just going to go into the settings of this form module and here we'll see the different fields that we've added, but let's get to the part we're interested in. But you'll see two email options here with various settings underneath it. You'll have the, of course, the email notification and email confirmation. Now the email notification is the one that you'll use for the person that will be receiving the submitted form. Now, this could be an admin to the site, the site owner, or even if you're using something like advanced custom fields, you can use a field from there and it could maybe go to a user like a real estate agent. Now, the email confirmation option, this just gets sent to the person that filled out the form as a confirmation that the form was submitted. But yeah, we're going to get a little bit more into detail on both of these right now. Alrighty, so we're going to kick off by looking at the email notifications. When we expand the settings here, you'll see a bunch of different fields that you can fill out and settings that you can use. We're going to start from the top here with the send to email address. Now remember, these are the emails that get sent to whoever should be receiving the email. So here we can see that admin email, the one that's configured in your WordPress settings is the default option. You can also select the author of the current post if that's different from the admin, or you can select advanced custom fields within the current post. So that's pretty awesome. You can also select custom and you can just go ahead and type in your own um, email address in there that you would like these emails to be sent to. Now for the from name, you can select the site title. You can select the sender from the form field. Now what that means is that we've got the name field here. So we can set that as a sender. And when we talk about the ID, if I scroll up here, it's this ID that we're talking about, field ID one. So if I wanted to use that, I copy that to my clipboard. And if I go down to email notification again, and I select here for the field to be the field ID, I just paste that in there. And now the send name will be whatever the user entered. Now, the same goes for the from email. You've got the admin setting, you've got the sender. So you can go look up this ID right here, or you can just select a custom one that's entirely up to you. So a few different things that you can do here, all very customizable to your specific need. Now for the email subject, you can go ahead and type in anything that you need or want in there. And then for the email template, you can actually use HTML to mark up any type of template that you want. You can go ahead and pull in variables by using and field IDs with the notation of percent percent field underscore ID or whatever that is similar to what we did up here when we set the site title. So if I wanted to go ahead and copy that field ID and I wanted to use the sender's name here, I might say something like um, use percent percent notation, put that field ID in there and I might say hi and then the person's name. You know, so that would be a great use for this. Um, other things that you can use is any of the other fields that you used up here. So the email, you can put the message in there. It's entirely up to you how you utilize this. It's very customizable and just gives a nice touch when people are receiving emails from your Divi form builder forms. Okay, so next up, we've got the email confirmation. Now we already talked about how this is different from the notification. Notifications goes to somebody affiliated with your site the confirmation will go to the person that submitted the form. Now by default, this is set to off, but you can switch it on. And now you'll see a lot of fields that already look familiar because we just went over these. So for the send to email, you can go ahead and pick whether it is a logged in user, or you can select that form field. And again, we'll just go find this emails ID. I'll show you one more time how to do that. We go to email here. Field ID is email conveniently, but this could be anything that you put in there. We can just copy that. We'll go back down to the email confirmation. And then you'd put that in there and that will define who the email gets sent to. Now for the from name, again, we can go with the site title. You can use the sender. So you can go look up that field ID for the name. Or you can just put in a custom name, whatever you feel like doing. You can type it in right there. We'll say this is from Roby. 
And then next up, we'll see the from email. That's going to be admin by default, but you can customize that if you have a little bit more of a bespoke um, email address you'd like to use, or maybe just one that you want to use specifically for this purpose. And again, you're going to put in your subject in there, whatever you want it to be. Um, and then the email template, again, you can use HTML markup to go ahead and create an entirely custom email template for this. And then again, you can use that percent percent field underscore ID percent percent where you just replace that field ID with one of the fields from your form. And that is pretty much all there is to know about the email confirmation settings. And guys, yeah, that's pretty much it, man. Um, we went through the two different types of email settings you find in the Divi Formula 4 module, email confirmations and the email notifications. Both have very different use cases for your site. Once activated by default, that'll be our email notification. And the other one, which is the confirmation, which is sent to your users, which you can choose to use or not. But that's it for this quick overview of the email options you'll find in the Divi Form Builder plugin. Guys, this was Roby with the Divi Engine team. I thank you for your time and definitely submit a support ticket if you get a little bit stuck or check out the documentation at help.divienginer.com. Thank you guys. Bye for now.